The bat falcon normally resides in South America, Central America, and only as far north as Mexico. So imagine scientists and bird watchers surprised that for the first time in history, it has been spotted in the United States in North America. Naturally, this has piqued the interest of two of our HMNS resident bird watchers, curator of vertebrate zoology, Dr. Dan Brooks, and HMNS photographer, Mike Rathke, affectionately referred to in this context as our bird nerd, a moniker earned over the years through a deep connection bird watching with his father. An opportunity to spot the bat falcon in the United States may only occur once in our lifetime with no guarantee that it will ever return to our side of the Rio Grande and no telling when it will leave us again for south of the border. So, with an indeterminate window of opportunity, we packed up our cameras and binoculars for a trip to the Rio Grande Valley, the region itself a world mecca for bird watching, to try our luck in spotting the only known single bat falcon to ever claim a perch in the United States. Let's roll. We arrived late in the day at the famous Alamo Inn Bed and Breakfast in Alamo, Texas, which is just minutes from the most recent sighting of the Bat Falcon in the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge, which itself is just 7.7 .7 miles away from the inn. The Alamo Inn sighting bulletin board bolstering our spirits that the Bat Falcon was likely still in Texas, having been spotted recently in timely proximity to our arrival. So. We, though road-weary, turned in for the night in preparation for the early morning to follow. A lot of birds are most active at dawn or dusk, and the bat falcon is no different. So the next morning, we set off. It's uh, 6.45 a.m., and uh, we're gearing up to go see the bat falcon. Now, bird watching can take you to a mixed bag of exotic locations, from fast food parking lots to cemeteries to beautiful national parks and everywhere in between, including your own backyard or apartment balcony. As for a location this time around in the Bat Falcons case, it was the Santa Ana National Wildlife Refuge on the United States and Mexican border. We received word in our travels that at sunrise and sunset, the bat falcon perches on these telephone poles at the entrance of the park. So we arrived and waited. Well, us and several more avian paparazzi hoping to snag a glimpse of our soaring celebrity. However, as beautiful as the sunrise and our surroundings were, our bat falcon was nowhere to be seen. All was not lost, however, as there were multiple reports of sightings during the daytime a few miles within the park at the Cattail Lakes. So we packed up our equipment for the five or so mile round trip hike to the lakes. Unfortunately, it was extraordinarily windy that day. So windy that Dr. Brooks' hat tried to migrate back to Houston. The excessive winds meant that sighting the Bat Falcon could be even more of a challenge as navigating high winds would be difficult for some birds. In fact, save for a few vultures and waterfowl, most birds nearby hunkered down below the tree line, including the Bat Falcon. We gave it a shot for an hour or so, but we ultimately decided to make the walk back and keep an eye out for any other interesting animals we would see along the way. The day progressed and we decided to give the bat falcon another try, having the previous intel that it likes to perch on the same telephone poles out in front of the park at sunset. But this information itself was still no guarantee. It said that fortune favors the bold, and to our great joy, we finally laid eyes and cameras on the elusive, beautiful Bat Falcon. Who knows how long it will stay, and who knows if it will ever return? What we do know is that bird watching is as wonderful as it can be frustrating, but the same can be said for fishing and how many fishermen and women would complain about a beautiful day on the water, regardless of catching anything. 
We spent the day in the glory of nature, and in this case, we were honored to snag a glimpse of one of the most beautiful and elusive birds to grace our country. Thank you so much for watching. Please check out our other wonderful videos and click the like button here as well. If you'd consider subscribing, of course, we would be honored. So until next time, stay safe and stay curious.